Oh, whoa, 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 Mr. Train, Mr. Train, Mr. Train, wait for me. I want to ride the train. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I guess it's not waiting for me anyway. Just go. How do I make it move man manually? Go. I don't even know how to make it move manually, man. Go. How do you make it move? Um. Can I just... If I... Set it to menu and then I hit W. Ah, that works. I'm in the locomotive. Hmm. I could have walked this faster. So wait, you're saying... <laughs> Loco... <laughs> this is just pathetic. Okay, this is just sad. Can I now... <laughs> Can I now, you know, have this thing work out, please? Now we don't need this whole power line over here either. We don't need the splitter anymore. Come on, let's get rid of the splitter. Donation oh, accepted. I think we fixed it. Yo, damn, Mr. Grimm. He says, Loco, I'm filling the daily. Man, you and, uh, you and Bob, single-handedly, or I guess duo-handedly. Wait, whoa, 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 Bob, Bob and Grim, I'm, I'm messing things up now. I'm trying to do, this is like, just like my StarCraft games, when I start doing things on autopilot, I start derping twice as hard as well. Like, dude, every time, every time that stupid train gives me a fright. Thank you, man. If I could see a rhino hearts in the chat. For Bob, that'd be awesome. What, really? Come on, mate. Come on. Come on. <sighs> I think we fixed the situation. I got a bunch of my inserters back as well, which is surprisingly nice. All right, we have a bunch of containers set up with random junk everywhere. But I think the crisis is now successfully uh, under control. By the way, making a solar power field is super, like, space heavy, right? I need so much space for that. Am I crazy? Because this is only providing like a little tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of electricity. It's very little. <sighs> okay. Well, I think the next thing we need to take care of, and this is going to go against my, my nature, okay, as a StarCraft 2 player. But I think the next thing we have to take care of is killing the Zerk. <sighs> okay. We're going to save right here. Loco before biters. I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. When we come back, we're gonna smash these nerds. Let him take the wheel. Entertain the masses. Okay, very good. Man, I came back before my ad break even ended. Listen very carefully, says Grim. Take over the stream, Lenny. Lenny? No, no, Grim, you misunderstood. I'm just a puppet. Lenny is the puppet master, okay? Not literally, but... Adam's getting all my research. Just get all of it. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do is automate solar production or solar panels, whatever. These things right over here. This takes about 7 million uh, of these uh, circuits. You know what? I was thinking about putting these things 
out in that direction. I think I want to output them in the other direction. I think it just makes more sense. Um, okay, so we have a lot of production right now on these um, green tracks. And I need those to create solar panels. As well as steel plates, as well as copper plates. So I got copper plates over here already, that's nice. Should I just take a branch over here of the steel, or should I run a branch on steel? In this direction. Um, I have steel production here somewhere as well. Does anyone remember where that was? It's kind of far away. Here it is. A lot of steel production, right? Is this all steel? I think this is all steel beams. Yeah. Do I make a new line or do I just run this line? I think it's probably easier to just run this line. That way we can always go back to the source and then uh, address any issues that might arise from there. Yeah, so part of this is going up north. I wanted to kill the biters. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to do many things. That's the issue in this game, dude. <laughs> Every time you you make a little bit of progress, it also opens up the opportunity for a lot of other things. Um Yeah, this is not a deal. Hold up. It's very easy to get distracted in this game, though. We are going to kill the biters. Don't worry. We're going to do it today. These biters are going to go down. At least the some that are nearby. Trying to bring some steel beams. So we can automate the production of solar. Which I think is going to be very helpful. Um, is that solid fuel? Right over here? Man, I don't even know what half this stuff is for. <laughs> oh. Got a lot of things. Yo, what's going on, Peter? Good to see you, man. Been a little while. How are you doing? Oh no, I won't forget to save scum, dude. Don't worry about that. My safe scumming skills are excellent. Um we're nearly there. The spaghetti monster is getting pretty ridiculous, but we're nearly there. Dude, I've got a freaking beam over here! I already pulled a line in this direction earlier! Oh, f Oh, jeez. Do I just remove this then? Oh, my I think I do. Shoot. Well, those last couple of minutes have been extremely pointless. I just realized I'm pulling a line of steel beams right next to a line of steel beams. I sure know how to fill my content on the live stream, right? You guys thought I was coming up with new fresh ideas? No, no, no. I'm just recycling old, old things. And I see some Factorio hardcore players loving it. It's like, look at this new idiot fail. <laughs> he thought he was half decent. <laughs> what a fool. Yeah, I, you know, the main reason is that I want to keep these fast underground belts useful. I want to keep them. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. So. 
We gotta put a thing. Wait, no! Is this thing... This thing is merged with something else! Oh, jeez. It's merged with... No! No! It's merged with something else! Are you fuck the hecking kidding? Can I? Hold up, hold up, hold up. These things have magical properties, okay? Can I? I've never done this before, but I know the option is there. Output priority. No, no, no. Output priority, whatever. I don't care. Output priority left works for me. Filter. Filter. There's filter, okay? Oh, I'm filtering that one out right now. That's not what I meant. Filter filter the pipes. Filter the pipes. Where's the stupid pipe at? Pipes? I'm probably scrolling over it, like twice already. Pipes? This is loco blindness at its finest. B yes. Oh my god. Guys, I have just worked my magic wand. Right here. I just did it. You might not like it, but this is what magic looks like. I know. Maybe not what you expected as a child, but... I did it. Doing it live as well, right? Yo, what's up, Seshi? There was totally something wrong over there, though. Okay. All right. All right. All right. How are you doing, Seshi? It's been a little while since I've seen your name in the chat. Ah, <sighs> look at it! I brought pipes from the other planet, aka this planet. But let's pretend it's a different one. Yes. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So, steel plates, electronic circuits, memes. Okay, no, that doesn't say it anywhere, but. Uh, electronic circuits, and then also we need some of these beam things. So I guess I need another one of those. And then a splitter over here. Alright. So, this is just iron plates and batteries. Cool. Can I uh, merge you guys? Oh my god, guys, I'm I'm nailing it, man. I'm a professional new subscriber detected at this game now. You may not like it, but Yo Navigator! What's up, man? Thank you for the support. That is very generous of you. Loco I lurk mostly. Busy with life most of the time. Alrighty. No no no, we wanted the merch. We wanted the merch so we can produce the stuff. We can produce these things right over here. Is that not good? Maybe I need to do it differently because I see people freaking out. Calm down, chat. How's that? Is that better? I did it. I did it. I did it. Um... Now, I don't think I want to take... I, I probably want to put down a splitter here or something. I mean, I don't necessarily need it right now. So, maybe we should set up the splitter when we do need it. But, eventually, I'm definitely going to have to split off this line over here. Okay.
New subscriber detected. Yo, Blackjack! 32 months! Woo! It's a long time. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Okay, so. What we need here is a couple of these assembling machines. How many do you think we need for solar panels? I don't know. As many as we do for accumulators. I'm basically just gonna let it run New and then like I'll detected. go and pick them up every once in a while, right? So probably like four, I think. Probably about four. Yo, have a good one, Grim. Thank you once again, dude. Always generous. I genuinely appreciate it, man. Thank you. Have a good one. He just stopped by, smashed us with the 30 euro donation and the 500 bits, and then he's like, "Okay, hello, come getting the heck out of here." Have a good one, man. Mr. Fetzy, thank you for the three months. Um, I'm actually gonna move it over a little. Just so I have more space over here. Okay. I need a long grabby grab. And I need a short grabby grab. And all of these things are gonna allow me to automate solar panels. How do you do this again? There we go. Very good. There we go. Okay, so this is gonna automatically produce solar panels. Now it's gonna take some time, but We'll just come back here every once in a while and then pick it all up, right? I think that's okay. There we go. So that's solar panels right there. Automatically produced instead of a steel chest. Very good. Now we need to do the same thing right here for an accumulator. So accumulators are iron plates. I have about 17 lines of those running every which direction. As well as these batteries. Now I've got a lot of batteries over here. Oh my god, there's a lot of batteries. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, we'll just create a splitter over here again, man. I have so many splitters, but whatever. As long as we overlay it, uh, overload the line, I guess it's okay. You guys are going to produce accumulators. And I need you to be able to grab resources from there. And also from... Wait, does that matter actually? Can it be on one line? I guess it can be on one line. What's the ratio? I don't know what the ratio is. Is that okay actually? Could I just run them on one line? I think I'm just running them all online. Why not? Doesn't matter too much anyway. Solar production is not symmetrical? Yeah, it is. I mean, it's not, not just yet. It's not done yet. Um... Sometimes it arrives from the other direction as well. That's kind of curious. Oh, that's okay. Uh, now I just need to figure out how I'm going to set them up to be on one line. Can I, um, can I do that with a merger maybe? Or a splitter, I guess. Yeah, that works. Okay.
You think this is once again gonna like do a make a similar issue? I think this is better. Isn't that what? Just run the main line past the inserter. No, that doesn't work. Doesn't the splitter work really well here? What's wrong with the splitter? Hmm. Is that going to cause any issues? Isn't the splitter just fine? I don't think there's an issue. It could put iron on both sides. Yeah, but it doesn't matter, right? Because it's still going to pick it up. I mean, the, the one occasional time that that happens, it's going to be picked up by the machine anyway. I think it's fine. Yeah, okay. I understand the reasoning, though. But I mean, this is going to run just fine. Ah, you are right, though. There are like there is one plate over there. So wait, how could I solve that? I have to make a T, I guess, right? This thing is being a pain, though. That freaking chest over there. <laughs> I have to like create like a, a T where the one goes off in that direction. How do I do that in such a cramped space, though? Like that. Perfect, but it looks terrible, though. Have you considered that part? Have you considered aesthetics? Okay, fine. Loco, just don't worry about aesthetics. Just be happy. There's one little square for a light to go in there. Fixed it. I sold... This is like this game version of the tree, okay? This is just this game's version of a tree. Just put a light in the middle of it. Okay, so now both of these things are going to be automatically produced. We'll come back here in about a half hour. And we can put down a pretty big field. Right? Good idea? I think that's a good idea. Yeah, the light is powered. It's just barely inside of the range of one of these power field thingies as well. Uh, it's this thing. The power, power pole thing. Okay, chat! Safe. Right here. You know what time it is? I think you know what time it is. I have never used a tank before. What do you even use a tank for, you might ask? Well, my young putter one. I'm gonna have to put some coal in the thingamajig. I got some bullets. I got some rounds. I don't know what this thing is. A flamethrower? What in the world do you put a flame? I have a flamethrower on a tank? Um... I don't know what I need for a flamethrower. Rockets? Flamethrower ammo. Oh, I need to automatically produce- ah, whatever. We're gonna just see how this works out. Oh my god. So there's a nest of these of these critters nearby. I don't know what I need to do to fire. Ow. What do I do? I'm getting wrecked. New subscriber detected. Did I do it? Did I wreck him? I took a lot of damage, though. I killed the Zerk! Nasty critters. Yo, Repressed King! Thank you very much. So wait, how do I use my other gun? I've got more ammo. How do I use that?
Okay. Tap! Tap doesn't do anything! I'm hitting tap right now! Nope, tap doesn't do shit. I mean, it, it doesn't do heck. Do I have to go in the other direction? Nah, no, tap doesn't do anything, guys. Oh, tap switches guns. Oh, I was holding down tap. I was listening to you guys' advice real well, okay? New Yo, Heart Neeper! Thank you so much for the 10 community subs! Woo! Matt Lad. Thank you so much. I'm giving us up right there to Dylan. Kona or Kano Tour. Original Valkyrie. New subscriber Nathan. detected. Gag Mom whatever. Exuberant Force. Dracos aka Mar. Wookie. Enigma. And oh dear. If I can see a massive round of hearts in the chat for Heart Neeper, gifting $50. New subscriber. Detected. Word of community subs. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta sneak. We gotta sneak. Yo, the Duke, thank you as well, bro. Resubbing 28 months. New subscriber detected. Okay, okay. We gotta sneak. We gotta sneak with a tank. There's a hive right over there. Okay, I thought I could reach. Can I kill that, you think? Without getting wrecked? New subscriber detected. Better do it at night time, right? Why am I not firing? New subscriber detected. Oh, I am. I've got a feeling just uh, approaching this in a bit of a different manner would be better. New subscriber detected. So I have to mouse over where I want to shoot on this thing. New subscriber detected. Oh my god. I'm glad I'm doing this at night. <laughs> Makes it so much easier. New subscriber detected. <laughs> New subscriber detected. Maybe I should have picked up piercing ammo. That would have been pretty nice as well, I think. New subscriber oh God. detected. Yeah, you, you know what? We're gonna actually we're actually gonna load up. We're gonna actually load up where we just where we just started this engagement. This was the first time I ever made my way in that direction. We're not gonna We're gonna take piercing armor. Donation I think that's better. Accepted. Yo, Obi, thank you as well, man. I appreciate that, bro. Thank you very much for the five year donation. Local micro damn it. A. A A A. Mr. Y3K, you have been very helpful. You've been giving me a lot of helpful advice. However, being a jerk about giving me advice, that's not cool, man. I, I, I don't like that. You can, you can give me advice. That's cool. If I make a mistake because I've never been in a situation before, getting upset is dumb. Don't do that. Thank you. I'd appreciate that. It's like, Loco, how do you not know everything that you need to do when you've never done before? I want to see how you teach your kid to drive a bicycle. It's like, oh my god, just pedal already, damn it! It's like, but dad, I've never... <laughs> Yo, thank you very much, Obi Bryce, for the 5 euro. He says, thanks for the great... Or, thank you for getting me back into StarCraft. Keep up the great work. Hey, that's awesome, man. Appreciate it. Okay, okay, okay. So we're gonna take piercing rounds. I think piercing rounds might be helpful. I am producing them automatically here somewhere as well, though. Where was I doing that? Oh, yeah, for the black potions, obviously. Anything else I should consider taking? <laughs> yeah. 
Just use the freaking pedals. <laughs> I want to throw you in the middle of the <laughs> in the middle of the road. See how fast you can get away on a bicycle. <laughs> oh, I love the passion, dude. I love the passion for video games. But it's always curious to me when people get upset at me for not playing the game the way I'm supposed to play it when I've never played it before. Like, Loco, you're supposed to do everything the perfect way. I guess I should take it as a compliment because people assume I'm good, but... <laughs> Surprise! I actually suck. Hey, I need to get that flamethrower, maybe. Do you think I need it? I don't know. I'm going to try again, but without the flamethrower. Dude. How, okay, maybe I do want to make the flamethrower. But I need to set up, like, oil and stuff for the flamethrower, though. I should, I should get it. Oh, my God. This is Loco getting distracted again. Here we go. <laughs> okay, I, I guess I don't need a lot here for the flamethrower, right? I guess I don't need a lot. Flamethrower does seem like fun, though. Okay, flamethrower. It needs steel plates as well? Ah, no, 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 no. Screw it, screw it, screw it. Ah, I do kind of want to make it. We got some steel beams happening over there. I don't have a lot of steel beams, though. I can't manually make it, no. Because you need to use the oil stuff. Um, could I? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Could I just like... So if I just set a temporary thing over here, right? Okay, hold up. Maybe I should check which side has to go where. Yeah, all the way around. Classic, classic, always. Always getting wrecked. It's just the way of, of this game. You think you do it the right way? Mm, just kidding, you didn't. Okay, okay. And now we just put down a thingamajig over here. And then a chest. And I'll just put some like steel in a chest and I will produce some of that. Does this work? I've never done that with a chest before, but I don't see why not. Why do I not have any heavy oil? I guess I'm cracking too much heavy oil. Is that possible that I'm cracking too much of it? I'm just gonna like stop these things for a little bit. Oh no, we learned about oil bottlenecks a very long time ago. It's an absolute massive pain in the ass. Do you think, right? I could just overproduce on crude oil by just setting a couple sets of trains on the tracks. Because I've got one set of trains right now. I've got one train right now. Yeah, I'm not going to touch the heavy fuel production thing, you know? No, I have tons of crude oil. Crude oil is actually fine. Um... Yeah, I thought I needed more crude oil, but that's not the case. Maybe I need more for refineries. That could very well be the case. I've been running on four refineries for a very long time. Um. Is that possible that I just don't have enough? Well, yeah, I know that, Alduvian. 
So petroleum gas is actually full right now. Um, maybe I should just also... Hmm. I'm thinking maybe I should just also crack... I think I can do that. Maybe I should also crack petroleum gas into solid fuel. Uh, this one right over here. It's a pain in the butt though, man. Yeah, I could add more storage, but that's kind of like not really a solution though. I do have that set up over here though, right? Don't I? I think so. Yeah, I don't really need this thing anymore. I mean, I could do that, but it feels really dumb. How much does it go in one of these things? 25k? Gonna fill up real quick. Um, it's not worth it, man. Uh, the real solution is circuit controlling the cracking. Well, yeah, but like it's easier said than done. Um. So these over here, what were they for initially? They were for the solid fuel into... Uh, they were solid cracking heavy oil into s light oil, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's good on Starlet. Slouched? Nah, I don't think I was slouching that bad, was I? Maybe I was. I just want to make some flamethrowers, man. So how in the world do I balance this? Because I'm still adding so many different things to it all the time. That as soon as I balance it, then I create a new branch. Immediately, it's messed up again. I guess one solution is just to add a whole bunch of storage until we are, like, done with most of these oil processing. Use circuits to control cracking? I have no idea what that means. Use circuits to control cracking? You can turn off cracking based on how full the storage is. Right, but... Now I still have to manually check it now. Circuit cracking is setting pumps from tanks to the cracking plants. That only work if you have more than a certain amount. Hmm. I don't know. Sounds like a very complicated system to set up if you have no idea what you're doing. I would do it, but I kind of want to do a lot of other things. I just want to make some flamethrowers, man. That's all I want to do. It's not that hard. <laughs> All I want to do is just create some fire, that's all. New subscriber. Yo, Rumiko, welcome back. Also on Patreon. Thank you. Hey, Loco, I haven't seen a stream in a while. This looks like a new game. Can you give me a 30 second rundown? General rule of thumb in this game, Disciple Kevin, is to automate everything. It's very easy to set up, but I have no idea how. The oil is honestly kind of confusing to me, man. It's probably not as complicated as I'm making it out, but it's, it's, I don't know. It doesn't make that much sense in my, uh, in my mind. 
The crude oil, it gets transported into three different uh, sections. I need the sections for pretty much everything. But, or I need the three different materials for pretty much everything. And every time I try and set up a new thing, one of the balances is out of whack and everything stops producing. It kind of sucks. I guess one solution we could do temporarily uh, if I see my steel here production, yeah, this stuff over here. One thing we can do temporarily is just set a bunch of these storage tanks up. It's not the prettiest way of doing it, but I guess I, I left some space here. I may as well utilize it. Okay. Local BRB food, want any? Sure. I'll take all the foods. Can I have three foods, please? There you go, guys. I figured out how to do it. It's by far the most elegant solution of my problem. <laughs> I did it! Need more farms! I did watch the most recent Game of Thrones episode. Yes, the final one. A little disappointing. That the, I'm like, you know, the ending, you know, I don't want to get too far into it. But I'm a little disappointed that the whole thing is done. You know what I mean? Game of Thrones has been a lot of fun for a really long while. And I kind of wanted to, like, continue onwards for a little while longer. It would be nice. But I guess we're going to get, like, spin-offs and all that. Uh, no spoilers, guys. Spoilers are permabands. I've said it time and time and time again. Please, no spoilers. Don't be that guy. We'll probably spend some time discussing it at a later time this weekend, and I'll obviously preface it by saying that we're gonna get spoiled heart. But yeah. All right, so now my heavy oil production should be okay. And we're gonna get some flamethrowers. Are you producing flames? Very good. The creators of Game of Thrones are going to do a Star Wars The Old Republic based series. Well, they can make some pretty cool shows, but I still feel like they should have probably not done some of the things they've done, story wise. Like, basically, the longer the story of Game of Thrones goes, if you're watching the series, if you've never seen it before, it starts off really strong. The first couple seasons are really good. And then, the later you go, it's just... <laughs> it gets progressively worse. Which is sad. But, yeah. One of my customers this morning was very upset about it. They talked through the whole ride about why they hated it. I don't watch it, but it was interesting to see someone getting so worked up about it. Yeah, people get very emotionally attached to a game, man. Or to, uh, to a show. It makes sense. Loco, I've only seen the first four seasons. If you've only seen the first four seasons, you've probably seen the best part, haven't you? There's eight seasons in total for Game of Thrones. I think if you are gonna watch part of the show, the first four is the first four to watch. But honestly, it's still a good thing to just finish watching as well. It's just that it wasn't, like, it's just... Less sophisticated at the end, you know? There's a lot of really clever things happening in the first couple seasons. And that subtlety kind of, like, 
is not there anymore in the later seasons. There's a lot of things that, that like, get... Um, how do I create that? Or how do I say that without spoiling? Basically, there's a lot of storylines that happen in the first couple seasons that really don't have much of an impact at all anymore. And even though it does, like, a, a big amount of story, uh, a lot of, like, pages spent on explaining certain new things, they don't really have any use for them anymore later on into the seasons, and it's just kind of awkward. It's a little, little bit weird. Okay, okay, okay. Well, hey, with that out of the way, time to get back into the swing of things with the tank. Gonna put fuel in it. Gonna put piercing rounds in it this time around. We're gonna put the big things in it, and then also the flamethrower rounds. So I've got some better, some better rounds this time. Okay. I guess I should be using... Whoa! New subscriber oh, this detected. stuff is insane. Okay, there's a lot of weapons I have. And once again, I'm moving out right in the middle of the night. Probably don't want to do that. It's probably not that smart. Should we just wait until it's daytime again? Hmm. Yo, Heart Neeper, thank you for gifting us up to Seshi. Yeah, basically, Game of Thrones got worse when they ran out of books. That makes sense, though. Yo, what's going on, Super Sloth? God, these things are insane. There's one over here somewhere. Do they, uh, do they stop spawning at some point or did they always spawn? I don't know. That green crap on your tank means you're sitting on a pile of biter vomit. Oh. Alright. I'm just gonna try and bait them out and see if I can, like, prevent them from spawning at a certain moment. There's a lot of them over here. I guess if I drive, I can't sit in their format either, right? New subscriber detected. Yo, Shaw Moraine! What's going on? I'm microing with one tank against a thousand Zerkling, Shaw Moraine. I'm sorry. Terran Imba confirmed. I don't have that many rounds anymore, though. Okay, I'm out of... Uh... I'm out of... What is it called? Flamethrower things. C come on. It's a choke point. I think they spawn out of the hatchery things. So I think I have to snipe those down. Oh, 
Oh god. I'm actually kind of stuck right now. Uh. Okay. Uh, let's repair. Let's see if I can uh, continue fighting for a little bit longer. Yeah, I think sniping down those those main structures is really helpful, though. Dude. Look how fast my SCV just repaired him. Yeah, that was pretty wild. I don't know what the range is. Can I shoot from the high ground? There's a big hive over here as well, though. I think this is okay, right? This is going pretty well. I don't know if they continue coming over in this direction later on as well, but... Can I just drive over them? Oh, I can drive over to me. That seems way easier. All right. Whew. Slowly getting rid of a bunch of these buggers. Or bugs, whatever. Why are we wipe? Well, we're wiping them out because they clearly needed to be wiped out, okay? The fact that you even have to ask such a question, Starlet, just shows that you have no respect. For my mission to get off of this planet. I'm trying to save one life. And all it takes is... Thousands. I'm trying to get off of this planet, okay? Alrighty. Smashing these nerds. I'm the Mad King. Call me Aegon Targaryen. Okay, this last round, last shell. Dude, these tanks are pretty cool. <laughs> All right. I think that will be, uh, that'll be, uh, well, you know what? That'll be something at least for now. Can I get more of these shells? Can I make some more? I need plastic. Should we just continue wiping out these enemies? It's nighttime right now anyway. Can I just like... Is this really bad? Oh, that's a cliff. Excuse me. Coming through. This is how we drive in the Netherlands, guys. Excuse me. No, I don't take any damage. I figured that out, but... Still doesn't seem particularly efficient. Hey, Logo. Do you know how much approximately it would be to go from Amsterdam to Köln? Köln! To Cologne. Um, I've been to Cologne a whole bunch. It's about two and a half hours. Two and a half hour drive, maybe three hours. It's not like that. It's not too much. Cologne is pretty cool, man. Schlant! So <clears throat> sorry. Um, I think we're gonna continue cracking down blocks. 
Uh, I got myself some more of these flamethrower ammo things. That's very nice. And I need some plastic. That's what I need. I'm trying to remember what I needed. Yeah, Cologne is, uh, or, or Cologne is really cool. It's a nice place. I haven't been to too many German cities. But the ones I have been to, Cologne was really nice. I don't know how it compares to many other German cities out there. But it's a really nice place. It's been fun. Lots of nice little places to eat and stuff. They've really, uh, this goes for most of Germany, but they've really perfected the concept of meat and potatoes. Meat and potatoes is, uh, the German specialty, I suppose. Great stuff. You plan on going to Gamescom? Ah, okay, nice. Yeah, that's why I was there a couple times as well. Okay, so I got I got more flamethrower fuel. I'm gonna have some more of these things as well that I'm gonna continue building, which I think is okay. Um, okay, let's just go. So there's a a couple of infestations that are relatively close by, although there's a big big amount of forest over here that doesn't seem to be too. Yeah, you know what? I'm actually gonna go over towards the other one over there. Do I just go through the forest? Just a straight line? <laughs> yes! Go! This Ram through it! Detected. Phantom, thank you very much! He says, Loco, I love your videos. Thank you, man. I love your sub. Oh, 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 no, no, I didn't mean to hit enter. Come back, come back, tank, come back. I'm trying to... I should save. Because I'm going to totally, like, jump out of this freaking thing before I, like... Y you guys know, right? You guys know I'm going to mess that up. So, yeah, let's just, let's just be smart. Hello. It's your boy, Loco. Coming at you. Have you guys ever seen a flamethrower? 